So in this example, we want to form a polynomial function f of x with real coefficients when we're given the degree and the zeros. So because this is a fourth degree polynomial, we know that we should have four zeros. Um, but in this case, we're only given three. We're given four twice, right? That's what it means to have a multiplicity of two, and three plus two i. But because we're given this complex imaginary zero, we also know that it's conjugate three minus two i is going to be a zero. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write this polynomial function in factored form, and then we will expand this factored form to construct our polynomial in standard form. So our first factors are going to be x minus four times x minus four. Uh, again, it happens twice because there's a multiplicity of two. And then that's going to be times x minus uh, three plus two i three plus two i, and then times x minus the quantity three minus two i. Now, when we distribute this negative three, what it's going to do is it's going to change the signs for both of these, and we should end up with, so again, our first two factors are x minus four times x minus four, and then our last two are going to be x minus three minus two i and x minus three plus two i. So those are our factors of this polynomial. So now we're going to FOIL and distribute to expand this polynomial function. So x times x, that's x squared. x times negative four, that's minus four x. Uh, negative four times x is negative four x. And then negative four times negative four, that's positive 16. So that's our first um, binomial that's been expanded. And then I'm gonna take these terms and distribute it through. So take the x, distribute through, then take the negative three, distribute through, and the negative two i and distribute through. So x times x, that's x squared. Um, x times negative three, that's negative three x. And then x times two i, that's plus two x i. So now we're done with that first term. So now I'm gonna take the second term, negative three and distribute through. So negative three times x is minus three x. Negative three times negative three is positive nine. And then negative three times two i, that's minus six i. And then take the last term, negative two i and distribute through. So negative two i times x, that's negative two x i. Uh, negative two i times negative three, that's a positive six i. And then negative two i times a positive two i, that's negative four i squared. So now we'll look to combine our like terms. Combine like terms. So we can see that we have a negative four x and a negative four x here, that's gonna give us a negative eight x. So we have x squared minus eight x plus 16. So our first uh, trinomial is done. And now we're gonna to look to combine like terms. So I have a negative three X and a negative three X there. Um, I have a positive two X I and a negative two X I. So those are going to cancel. Uh, I have a negative six I and a positive six I. So those will cancel. And then we know that this here, negative four I squared is just negative four times negative one, which really turns out to be a positive four. So I have this positive nine and this positive four. So when we combine those, we get, so combining all of our like terms, we get x squared, uh, negative three x minus three x is minus six x, and then nine and four is plus 13. And now we need to expand this again. So we will take x squared and distribute it through, take the negative eight x and distribute through, and take the 16 and distribute through. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we have x squared times x squared, that's x to the fourth. Uh, x squared times negative six x is negative six x cubed. And then x squared times 13, that's a plus 13 x squared. So we're done with this first term. Then we can go on to the negative eight x. So negative eight x times x squared is negative eight x cubed. Negative eight times negative uh, negative eight x times negative six x, that's gonna be positive 48 x squared. 
and then negative 8x times 13, that's going to be negative 104x. So now we're done with that term, and we can take the 16 and multiply through. So 16 times x squared, that's plus 16x squared. Uh, 16 times negative 6, that's uh, 6x is going to be negative 96x. And then 16 times 13, that's positive 208. And now we can go through and combine our like terms. So what are the like terms here? So we have only one x to the fourth. So this is going to be our function here. So we only have the one x to the fourth. So we're done with that one. Uh, we have a negative 6x cubed and we have a negative 8x cubed. That goes together to give us negative uh, 14x cubed. And we have a 13x squared, a 48x squared, and a 16x squared. So when we combine all of those, we get positive 77x squared. Uh, and then our linear terms, we have 100 and negative 104x and negative 96x. So that makes a negative 200x. And then we just have the one linear or the constant term, so plus 208. So this here is our polynomial function. Um, it's a fourth degree polynomial function, and we see that it has uh, it was constructed from these zeros, so those are going to be all of the factors.